Backyard baseball? Yeah, I think. With Pablo something. Sanchez? Yeah. With a big ass head? The home run lowered? I think that was it. Backyard baseball? Yeah, backyard baseball. Backyard baseball is my answer. You just made me think of it. That's it. Shout out to Pablo Sanchez, the GOAT. Yeah. Sorry, guys. He's I just good. got really excited. Him and that uh, that black guy on Wii. Whenever you were, Matt, you were boxing. Wasn't Matt. his name Matt? Yeah. Welcome back to episode 85, ladies and gentlemen. Will Levis, the talk of the town. Hog. Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> just joking, just joking. We are not going there first. Fellas, the tie-dye group. Pan around the room. <laughs> we all got tie-dye. Coincidentally. On. Mine's yeah. the best, though. This was not. I don't good. know, brother. Miller Light. I think Dante has to agree. I got a Miller Light can. Like right? My shirt is You a have can. to say that. I got two beloved people, Travis Scott and McDonald's. I just had that earlier. Your inner fat child's going crazy. Oh, God, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> I had some McChickens earlier. Yeah. I don't know. My shirt is literally a fucking Miller Lite can. So Speaking of McChickens, I saw this on Twitter. <laughs> McDork. You ever see anyone peel off the fucking crust of a McChicken? Or nah. like the chicken nuggets? Nah. Oh, yeah, um, yeah The yeah, chicken yeah. nuggets and eat them just nah. the slime. I've never seen them chicken eat part. it. I've seen what it looks I've like. Seen, I've seen people take it off and just eat the chicken part. Yeah, yeah. That's terrible. No crust. That's terrible. He that's needs, gross. He needs to be investigated. <sighs> Woman and Derek, what about that video that you sent me the other day? Um, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you do know what I'm talking about. Well, Levis, the, <laughs> the animal in the zoo, the frog that was uh, touching itself. Oh, bro. No, nah, that orangutan? <laughs> no. Nah. You seen the monkey? He wasn't even in the zoo. Oh, I think he was out on the street outside of a car <laughs> he's beating his own meat and eating his own. He said Love just sauce. out on the street. <laughs> like a monkey just in the wild, but not in the wild. We out here. <laughs> well, you know, like some countries, they're just in the road and shit. In the road. <laughs> All right. I'm serious. What do you want? I mean, the path? All right. No, Anyways, some are like in cities. We are fried, bro. Let's get what? into the episode. Guys, I think we have to start this episode by talking about our beloved Indiana fever, Caitlin Clark. Leah Boston. I hear that. I couldn't name another player on that team. I'm sorry. And we actually watched the Chicago Sky and Indiana Fever game together Three as hours. a threesome. A little three way. Okay, it was actually the entire barbershop, but yeah. we watched. We were it, there, and we had a very good debate in the barbershop. Good old barbershop talk about Caitlin Clark. So before we get, you know, remember the debate the debate we were having? Yeah, I remember. Oh, why you make that face? Y'all just shot a text message without me seeing. No. No. Oh. I was yeah, pulling up. I was listening to that dude yelling, trying to hear what he was saying. I was just pulling up a graphic about this. So. Oh. Oh, yeah. What, what I really did want to do before we keep going, we're going to take literally two seconds. Moment of silence for the city of Youngstown. <laughs> the building across from where we record. Yeah. Why did I just laugh? Had some bad shit happen last week. So <laughs> That's how you deal with we'll trauma. just take we... a moment of silence. All right. I said literally two seconds. All right, so. You're good. All right. Anyway, I laugh that's how Dante de thing. deals with trauma. He just he makes <laughs> no, jokes. No, that's debate. That's no, debate. You bro. laughed the last two you'll be like, pod you'll, podcasts. You be like, yeah, bro, he died. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you hear. All right, all right, Caitlin Clark. So let's start off before we talk about the game. Before we talk about what everybody thinks we're going to talk about, let's just go straight into this question. What did you guys think about? I don't even remember her name. I can't even. I don't remember. Chenity Carter. Chenity. There you go. I knew it was something like that. What I do we you. think of Kennedy Carter's foul on Caitlin I know that Clark? Her, she nicknamed herself Hollywood. Hollywood Carter? Hollywood Kennedy. How do I feel about her foul? Yeah. What like what was just your first thought? It's dirty. Okay. Like I I get it. Like you're trying to prove a point and, you know, be a little physical, but still a cheap shot. No matter if you're trying to be physical and prove a point, still illegal to do. You, yeah. You cannot do that. In any level of basketball. As Caitlin Clark No said, matter what. It's not a basketball play. It is not. And I do agree. Jordy, what do you think about it? I mean, it was just dirty as fuck. Did you I, I think that they were trying to, uh, they're trying to hurt the person that's trying to get all of them paid more. So, do we think it is more, more of a big deal because it's Caitlin Clark or because it's the WNBA? They made it a big deal because it is Caitlin Clark. Because in the NBA, how often do you see that? Every game? 
Yes and no. She, I mean, but, she but fell you on see, the ground. You see it a lot, though. You've seen Marcus Smart do it. You've seen Draymond Green do it. You see a lot of players. Jokic seen... did it to Markeith Morris, and he oh, didn't he miss him. half the season well, because uh, of his neck. Morris initiated it first. Yeah. And then Jokic said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to meet you at half court and hit you right in the back. Same thing, but that was, I wouldn't say he deserved it, but you initiated that that to happen. So that's your own fault. It definitely fits into the narrative of WNBA players. Hating on Caitlin on Caitlin Clark. And after that moment, I've changed my stance. Did you see her quote and her comment about it? Who, Have you seen Kennedy's? Yeah. Hold on. I've got screenshots. I, so did I. I had it pulled up too. I was okay. worried about what she, what he was pulling out. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see those screenshots. So the the last thing I seen was her saying, Maybe besides three point shooting, what does she bring to the table? Whoa. Why are you hating? She's Lots fun, of money, bitch. She is a phenomenal passer. She is. I've seen, dude, I watched a mixtape of last game, a couple of passes that were great, and they just smoked layups. No, nah, she's a great facilitator. She's she a great passer. She can find people out of double teams. But I've changed my stance. The WNBA, maybe not collectively, maybe not as a whole, they're hating on Caitlin Clark. 100%. Yeah. Did you see your other quote about her? I've I seen them, but go ahead and tell the people. The for other the, one. For the people who don't care about the W, because we're fans. Chenity Carter. Chenity. Shout out to that. Big Chen. Big Chen. Dirty ass player. Um, she said, we grown as fuck, and you're all talking about enforcer with a laugh emoji. Man, get the fuck out of here. Hoop or shut up. Oh. Not going to lie. That was not a hoop play, like you said. Not a basketball play. It wasn't a basketball play. Um, She said that on Twitter under... um like a video posted in her post game and you saw in her post game, she was not answering any Caitlin Clark questions. She completely ignored it. Corny and um, corny. You can't Angel push Reese, her on the ground and then refuse to answer questions. Angel Reese didn't do any media after the game either. She got fined for not taking any media. Um, Why are you smiling? So, so that's pretty corny well, on the whole team. Hold that's on. pretty corny what on the whole team. What did Kennedy Carter get? What was her fine amount? Wasn't no, no, no. You mean Angel Reese's. No, both got fined. Oh, they both Ch- got fined. Chenity's was what, twenty five dollars? She got fined twenty five bucks. Okay. Twenty five to them was like a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine in the NBA. So if but I don't, I don't know what the percentage. Maybe not two hundred fifty thousand. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe what the like fifteen k. But if you do the percentage of her, dude, twenty five dollars ain't, dude. But hold on, if we do percentage. the if we do the percentage of her yearly salary or game, let me look up her yearly salary pay. as you talk. Game if, pay. I think game pay makes more game sense. Game pay or yearly salary, if you look at with that $25 as a percent of what she got paid for that game, mm-hmm. it could be like 20%. So her yearly salary, mm-hmm. $71,199. Now divide that by what, like 19 games, 17 they games? They play more than 19. I don't even know how many games they play. <laughs> I know their season's actually really short. Yeah, but it's sure. not 19 games, bro. Um, <laughs> they play 40 games. Okay, it was short. So you take that. Divided by 40. Divided by 40. You get. Oh, what? Did you times it by 40? No, seven. I did it. It just it looked pretty close. You get $1,779. So if you do now, you do what percent of a mm-hmm. thousand is $25. It's like 5%. Or 2%. That ain't 5%. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Five percent, bro. I just threw out a number. That's I'm all right. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not literally sorry. thinking about it. Okay, it's all right. Jesus Christ, bro. So, let me ask you guys this: We had our conversation. It's time to have it on camera and see what the people think. Jordan, yeah. it is. Can I can I give you the exact yeah. percentage? Go ahead. One point four percent. I also wanted to add on Kennedy Carter. You know she's been kicked off of two WNBA teams. Good. So Thug. she is shows the team that drafted her, um, Atlanta. I don't know their actual. I couldn't team. even get it out. Atlanta, the Falcons. No, but she got kicked off the team Braves. for conduct detrimental to the team after threatening to beat up a couple of her teammates. That's what Liz Cambridge got kicked out the league for. Twenty twenty two with the Sparks, she picked you, up. The, the or they picked are? up her. Uh, what do you know? What the Sparks are Los Angeles. Okay, I'm it says LA you. Sparks. Ah. <laughs> um. But they picked up her waiver midseason for poor conduct again, so they got rid of her. Then she played in Turkey, and now she's back with the Sky, and this is her seventh game back in the WNBA. So she is who she is. She needs help. So do you guys want to go into our conversation that we had at the barbershop about the WNBA and them potentially ruining the 
money by <laughs> making Caitlyn Clark. Their, their chance of making the more money. money? <laughs> because there were people saying that the WNBA should try their very hardest to make Caitlyn Clark as good as possible because it will be good for revenue for the league. Now, I do not disagree with that sentiment, but on the same strength as that topic, they want to compete. Yeah. And it's hard to make a player look good and compete at the same time. So I understand it seems a little crazy because they are going at her like we've never seen before. Granted, the WNBA is being posted more than ever, like more than ever. How many times have you opened your Instagram and seen the WNBA highlights on your feed? More now than you did last year. How many times did you see it last year? WNBA, not college. I might have seen one play. Yeah. That's- Thing two years ago. Nothing. Nothing. Right? Yeah. Nothing memorable. So, and I'm and the WNBA has had good players. You look at Asia Wilson. She's Sabrina. been in the league five, six years. She's a two-time MVP. She's a two-time champion. Sabrina. She's a, I think, a two-time finals MVP. Sabrina Nescu. Sue. Sue Bird. Diana Taurasi. Elena Della Don. My baby the girl. The list goes on. Kelsey Plum. Your baby girl, Kelsey Plum. <laughs> Not Darren Wallers. Ah. But if you want a real man, Kelsey. Oh God. Come home. So do you <laughs> do you think come home to what? The white people? Oh <laughs> what are my you trying to Lord. say? Lord. Do you think they should let up <laughs> off of her so they can make more money? Uh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Thank yeah. you for that articulate response, Jordan. I switched the camera to the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh if you're not on Caitlin Clark's team for these next uh, we'll say three or four years, get people really built up into watching it, uh you're chalked. You got to, Caitlin Clark has to go three in a row starting this year. Championships? So that, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, that ain't going to happen. She has, they have to make it to where she wins three in a row right now because then more people will watch next season again and the next season again. Now you got the viewership. Now be competitive. People are watching. <laughs> You're, this cat is no reason people. to be competitive for 150 people. Wait till the stadiums <laughs> oh, are This guy is packed. crazy. Wait for the stadiums to be packed and then knock Caitlin Clark the fuck out. That cool. Is- Get kicked out of the league for it, but you want to do it, do it. Just wait till you make some money. Please put the camera on Derek now and get it off of you. <laughs> Derek, what do you think? Chat clip that. Um, yes. I think here's the thing. How many times has the fever sold out tickets last year or, year, or years prior? Zero. Maybe zero. Where do they Maybe play? one. Maybe they two. Play I'm gonna, in the Pacers stadium, like uh, arena? Lucas Oil. Well, they're getting a they are getting a new arena. Currently, yeah, but they right? play at Lucas well, Oil right yeah, now. Yeah, they're getting a new arena. Because I remember have the, the player they need to get a new. Because I remember one of the chicks talking about like, yeah, we get a new stadium. Like you saw, they smell like shit outside of our old stadium because it was about like a cow farm or oh. some shit like that. I mean, you're in Indiana. Yeah, you <laughs> like, know. Uh, yeah. yeah, you Nothing got special. Indianapolis or cow farms. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't think the players should go lightly on her. But if I am the commissioner or I'm running the WNBA, I'm having an officials meeting with the refs and saying, hey, whatever Caitlin does, let her get it away with a little more to make her look as good as possible. And when you know, it's done against her, call a little more. Yeah. You want Caitlin Clark because she's the one bringing eyes to the sport right now. She's the reason I watched Iowa basketball last year. Not any other player drew me to the sport. She's the reason that I'm watching some WNBA games because of her. Her game is fun to watch, but... When she has mm, eh, talent around her, it's not going to help. Okay. So yeah, I mean, she scored three points in her last game against the Liberty. Who? Caitlin Clark. The one today. One basket, three points in Fever, in Fever lost to Liberty. That's crazy. How many? That's shots? not good for the league. No, I don't know if she got hurt. She <clears> did <throat> get hurt. Her and Aaliyah Boston both went out of the game. So I, yeah, I don't know what happened. I I'm not one of those people that's going to be swayed to watching from Caitlin Clark. I don't watch the NBA, though, so that's like my argument back is like, if I don't watch the NBA, I'm not watching you. Sorry. It's okay. not happening. So, but, yeah, I don't know what happened, but she scored three points. She went out of the game with an one injury. Bucket. And the, the New York Liberty is the second best team in the league. So they're And the Indiana Fever has had the number no, one pick the, two years well, in a row. the Indiana Fever are the number one best team. No. Yeah. They have the money Did maker. she play today? Yeah, she played. Okay, okay. So listen, before we put a button on this topic, I want to have a little fun. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> I want you guys to exit out of any WNBA you have on your computers real quick. I ain't going to be able to name five. I want us 
to try our damned hardest. Not me. You two. To name <laughs> all 12 WNBA teams. Derek. Hey, hey brother. I'm going to give you a layup. You go first. No, why does he get the layup? Dude, they, two teams played today. You should be able to get the team they played. My baby girls team, Las Vegas Aces. Boom, Las Vegas Aces. One. All right, well, then I'll go Indiana Fever. Indiana Fever. Best team in the league. Two. With two wins. <laughs> hey. Team that they beat, Chicago Sky. Chicago Sky, three. Let me get the Fever. Don't know where they're from, though. Indiana, you just not said. the fever, the Liberty, New York Liberty. There you go, Ooh. four. All right, we're cooking, boys. Four out of twelve. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I don't remember what Derek said. This is um, we've said the Liberty, the Fever, the Sky, and the Aces. Las Vegas Sparks, the Los not Angeles, I, Los, okay, Angeles. Okay. Los Angeles, Los Angeles Sparks, Los Angeles <laughs> Sparks, the Las Vegas Aces. Uh, all yeah. right, it's a, yeah, I got them confused. For we got five. All right, all right. <laughs> I know that Cleveland doesn't have one. I know that Pittsburgh doesn't have one. Murky. Can we do this together as a team? I think we need to do it as a team. Oh, no. You guys aren't competing. Do it together. I was just letting you guys go back to Seattle. Seattle. Storm. Storm. There we go. Not the Swarm. You have the Swarm. I put that on my TV2K franchise. Okay, Seattle Storm. So how many we we at? So I think six. So we have. Fuck. We have. (laughs) We're halfway there, baby. Come on. Should I start giving you cities? This one you're not going to get. Are the Mercury one? Mercury? I don't know where they're where from. Where the fuck is are they the from? Australia? Phoenix. Well, is it the Mercury, though? Mm-hmm. Let's go. What about, what about Minnesota? Timberwolves. Lynx. Lynx. Okay, Jordy knows WNBA <laughs> yeah. ball. Let's go. Okay, what about Dallas? Stars. That's hockey team, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Dante's got them tattooed on. They're in the playoffs. Chill out, bro. <laughs> I'm about to get them covered. <laughs> San Antonio. D- Dallas. Or I said Dallas. Dallas. San Antonio has a team, though, too, right? No, they don't. No? You think they got two? I don't know what the fuck There's goes on. There's 12 WNBA Dallas. teams. No. Give, what, give me the first letter it starts with. No, no, no. W. Dallas, who the fuck cares? It's a food. Who the fuck cares? Watermelons. <laughs> oh, that was racist. I don't even know how, but it was racist. Food. <laughs> watermelons. <Just a> food. <laughs> I guess you're right, but like. Who would name a team in watermelon? I don't know. <laughs> Who? Dallas. Food. The Dallas Who's? <laughs> Whoville. Wings, man. Oh, Detroit Red Wings. I think. Washington. Wizards. <laughs> He's already laughing. He has Mystics. Um, Mystics, all right. Atlanta. Brave. What do you do when you sleep? Snore. <laughs> <laughs> what did Martin Luther Dream. King have? <laughs> <laughs> Snore. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> Fucking drool, dude. Have a wet dream. Dude, wet dreams. Next topic. Now. <laughs> no, no, we got we got a couple more, right? No, that was it. That no, was that wasn't it. There's twelve, Jordan. Okay. There's literally more on an NBA roster. All right. Let's go to the next topic. Where are we going next? I don't know. When you said Washington, you what did you say? Wizards and then something. You said else. wizards and watermelon. Fucking no. no that was Dallas. No. <laughs> Just capitals and. Nationals popped into my head, and I was like, "Yeah, Um, we have to talk about the finals." Yeah, let's talk about the NBA finals. So it is set. We have the Dallas Mavericks. If you guys didn't see, (laughs) you probably didn't. Jordan, (laughs) Jordan did this. He pointed at me and Derek and just went, "All right, you guys take this one. (laughs) You guys got this." So I I knew the Minnesota Lynx. It's your guys' turn. (laughs) That is crazy. I I I know the logo now that I think about it. It's like almost similar. The only reason I know it is because it's kind of similar. Like. Aren't lynxes like animals that are in the woods? Like the yeah, it's, it's close to the timber wolves, yeah. It's like a baby wolf, like a little wolf. They're the same colorway, basically. What if it's a wolf, female wolf? Hey, it's crazy. Y'all are telling me this stuff, and this is all new information for me. <laughs> you didn't know it looked like the timber wolves? I'm talking about the fact what a lynx is. Oh. It's, a, it's an animal. <laughs> it's in the logo. Ain't Bro, it in Minecraft? I don't know what their logo looks like. I thought you prepared. Guys, the wheels are falling off. Get back to get back NBA to finals. It. The NBA finals are set. It's the Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics. Now, I think most people have had the Boston Celtics in the NBA finals since the beginning of the season. But to our surprise, a team who didn't even make the playoffs last year, the Dallas Mavericks have made it to the finals. Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving versus Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Should we go just straight into who we have? Who do you want? Who's winning? Mavs info. Ow. You crazy? Info. He said. Yeah, I'm just kidding. In six. Well, he said. Just kidding. If you've watched this podcast long enough, you know how I feel about Boston. 
I'm already picking the Mavericks, but we'll talk about it a little bit more. Ooh, you're taking the Mavericks straight up. I am taking Mavericks, but that's just a hater in me. I, like, I want to see the Mavs win. Mm-hmm. Um, matchup wise, do you think the Timberwolves had a better matchup to the Celtics as opposed to the Celtics matching up with the, the Mavs. Timberwolves? So, Matt, Matt, you think the Timberwolves had a better matchup than what the Mavs are going to have with the Celtics? Mm. I think defensively, yes. Yeah. So the the Timberwolves match up better with the Celtics, and I think Dallas does because if you look at Dallas's one two, you got Luca, you got Kyrie. Now those two are unstoppable offensively. You, you can sorry, yes. Well, no, defensively. What did I say before that? Did I say defensively? You just said they're unstoppable. Yeah, they're unstoppable offensively. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can slow them down, but you're not going to stop them. No, they're still going to get their points, but. If there are three guards who can give you hell on defense, Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown, and Derek White are three of them. And they're on one team. And then if you look at Luka guarding one of those three. Cancels out. Luka will. No, it does not. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, Luka is nowhere near the defender of those three individuals. No, but if he's going to defend Drew or Derek White. He's going to have to defend That's what I'm saying. It's not going to be that big of a mismatch. So, what I think... The matchup maybe will be, I think Luca will be guarding Drew because Drew is your least threat of those three individuals. Kyrie has a little more versatile defense, so he's Ky- going to be on Derek White or Jalen? He's probably going to be on Derek White. I think he's a little small for Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's about 6'5", I think 220, look that up. Just force him me. left. That could work. But the good thing about Dallas is after... The one position, if you want to call Kyrie the point guard, I know Luca brings the ball up, but let's just say Kyrie's the point just for argument's They're sake. They're both guards. <laughs> yeah. From two to five, they're long. No pause. Will Levis, they're long. Pause. Just cut that out. It's <laughs> all Diddy. <laughs> but Derek White, he can be slowed down by their length. Jason Tatum, he's a superstar. Superstars show up. Who's guarding typically. Him? I think they may have. Derek? Which one? Lively Jones? Like, who are you putting on him? Uh, I don't know. If PJ PJ Walker could probably be physical. Washington. Jalen Brown. I keep six, saying Walker. I know. I say PJ Walker, too. Every time it messes Washington. me up. I think PJ Washington will be able to slow him down. He's a physical defender. And that might make his shots a little eh on he, offense now. Exactly. He, he, was the, he was the X factor for the Mavs offensively. You know, I think the X factor for the Dallas Mavericks, I think it's their bigs. Because if you look at Derek Lively and Daniel Gafford, extremely active bigs. Or Derek Jones. Great for alley-oops. You, you, can, you can put him in there. Um, I'm specifically talking about for the matchup of Sam Hauser and Al Horford. Yeah. What is Al Horford going to do with Derek Lively and Daniel Gafford when they're Nothing. flying through the lane of dunk? Nothing. Now, he can pull them out and hit threes, unlike what Rudy Gobert could not do. Yes. But Cat pulled them out as well. Yeah. I don't like Sam pull out right now. Well, I don't think Gaff- so Gafford and Gafford and Lively aren't going to be spreading the floor. No, they <laughs> won't. They, they both have yet to make a three all postseason. Or even so, attempt. One. Yeah, I don't even know if they attempted one. By but, the way, Jalen Brown's 6'6", 220. There you go. That, Kai's not guarding Kai him. Kai can't guard him. You got. You might have to put Derrick Jones Jr. on him. You might have to. So you Kyrie might, will be guarding yeah. Derrick White. And then you got Luca guarding Drew Holiday. I know that sounds crazy. They might flip flop those because I think Luca can guard Derek White, but Derek White is a bigger scoring threat. But no one, yeah. But I think the bigs are the biggest X factor there because Al Horford being 42 years old, Chris Tapps being hurt, and Chris Tapps being hurt. Don't know if he's coming back. And Sam Hauser being what? Sam Hauser. Um, he's. Uh, I just think Derek Lively and Daniel Gaffer will be the difference makers here. They have to be. As they should be. They have to be. So they're, for the Mavs, those are their X factors. Mm -hmm. Now for the Celtics, their X factor has to be Drew and Derek White. Yeah. How good are you able to slow down Kyrie and Luka? They're they're still going to get 30 if they want. That's unfortunately. But this is, is, you think this is their toughest matchup? Derek White and Drew defensively? Throughout the playoffs? Who, yeah. Who else guarded yeah. them throughout? The, you got yeah. SGA and um, what's his name? Lou Dort. That probably. Lou Dort hit. affected Luka for the first yes. like two games. He couldn't figure out. He Lou saw Dort. those two a little bit. Yeah. Um, Timberwolves, they didn't. Anthony Edwards is a great defender. Yeah. But he, he was still getting his. Yeah. I mean, he was guarding uh, Kyrie um, Irving for the most part. Now, the difference is 
Lou Dort, you weren't going to get really anything offensively from him. Nah, he'll shoot a three. You can get shit offensively from Drew and Derek White. Derek White can be a fucking sniper Mm -hmm. randomly. Same thing with Al Horford. Yep. Um, What you're hoping for if you're the Dallas is hoping that Luka and Kyrie wears those two down. That's the offensively, hope. defensively, so yes. their offense suffers. Yes, and then you're forced to just let Tatum and Jalen Brown try to carry the offensive load. And that's the same thing that Dallas is trying to do, though. Too, it, it's, it's going to be it's the it's the two v two yeah battle here. It's going to come down to just who's in better shape. And, and Luke is a little banged up. And who's going to be the X factor for either team? Like you said, the bigs for Mavs or for the Celtics, you could have a lot. You can have Al Horford spreading the floor, hitting those threes. Derek White hitting those crazy shots, or Drew just you know. Making the offense, kicking I mean, it out. If you really look at it, Boston is a better team here. Yes, absolutely. Because if you are doing, let's just say, the top six players. They have the biggest weakness as the center with Sam Hauser. Yeah. But overall team. This would be a great Robert Williams series if they still had him. Remember Robert oh, Williams? Oh, he would have been a dog. Uh, that would have locked the series I don't even know where the hell he is now. Me either. Charlotte? I tell you. That's where they go to die. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte. I'm going to guess the Blazers. You looking it up, Jordy? Yeah. But if you're looking at the top six players in this uh in this series. Number one best player is Luca. Tatum. No, it's Luca. Luca Tatum. Then it's Tatum. What was too. your guess? We Trailblazers. Were, I said Charlotte. Trailblazers, it is. Boy, wow. I'm a dog. Don't ever challenge I my I think ball that we had we we had him pop up when we were doing grid though. I'm a dog. <laughs> so you got Luca one, Tatum two. Kyrie is three. Jalen Brown is four. Okay. Five and six probably go to the Celtics with Drew and Derek White. Taking Derek White over Drew. So I'm just saying those yeah, two are six. The, so yeah, those out two. of six players on the floor, four belong to the Celtics as far as being in that top. And then six. who's next? After that, it's an argument with Horford, Gafford, probably Washington. PJ Washington. Washington has been last series. He wasn't anything crazy though. But see, PJ Washington does a lot though. He gives you good defense. Yes. He gives you good rebounding, and he's an active player, and he can knock down threes. Like, P.J. Washington will get you eight rebounds. He'll block a shot or two. And he actually is a good on-ball defender. Shout out to my Kentucky alumni there. Shout out to you, P.J. Should have never got Brittany Renner pregnant, though. Yeah, I mean, P.J., he's their third best player. Averaging mm-hmm. 13.6 points, 6.7 rebounds. Is that a um, And then, I mean, they have pretty good three-point shooters to where, you know, Luke and Kyrie, of course. P.J. shooting 36%. Mm-hmm. Derek Jones Jr.'s shooting 39% from three in the playoffs. That's great. And Derek Jones was not able to shoot. I was going to say, all. that's great for him. Like yeah. he's not a good three point shooter. So you still have to, you know, come out on him. You can't just let him shoot wide open. So let me ask you guys this. Whose legacy do you think will be most affected by winning? Not only an NBA championship this year, but also potentially a finals MVP. Jordan, you haven't had much input on this topic, so I would love to go to you first. Uh, I think it's Luca. Okay. I think that winning this series, I mean, he's debatably the f- number one overall player in the NBA. Most people have him two behind Jokic. Yeah, you can argue one but or two, though. Jokic has his ring. Mm-hmm. Luca gets two. his. Yep. That's, I Almost mean, he can one. bring himself into the conversation, starting with he's still very young, mm-hmm. but now he has... Yeah, getting one early does one. Maybe an honorable mention in there. Mm-hmm. And then he gets a couple more. He could be in the top 10 point guard list by the end of his career. Okay. I'm not yeah, mad at that ring definitely like a Ky- And it, it, Kyrie. Uh, I think Kyrie's implications with this are bigger than Lucas. Don't, or don't steal my, don't steal my answer, Tatum's. bro. Don't steal my answer. But, don't pick everybody. You got to pick one. You, just well, said, you said this or that, so I told you that answer, but like, it's you, really Kyrie. You gave me three different people, bro. <laughs> you said did. Kyrie twice. You said Luca first, and then you said or Tatum. I did he say Tatum? He definitely said No, or I Tatum. said Kyrie. Yeah, he said Kyrie. He said or Tatum in there, too. Just wait no, until I you rewatch this. No, I said it has this. bigger implication than Luca or Tatum. Okay. Okay. I heard you okay, say Tatum. Okay. Sorry. He just heard Tatum. Go ahead. He hates him. Who's yours? Is it on me? F Tatum. Okay, I didn't know it was on me the whole time. Or not. Um, the whole time. <laughs> no, no, no. Throwing shots. Um, I'm going to say Tatum. You know why? Because he's Tatum, a <laughs> Tatum has had a better team year after year after year mm-hmm. than Luka. Luka and Kyrie, this is their first full year, you want to say, together? Did they Were they together all year last year? No, Kyrie got traded. Traded, right? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, because Dorian Finney-Smith and all of them got traded in the middle of the year. And they made trades this year. So this isn't a team that's been the same for more than one year. Right. Um, they're got still all Ryan new Williams, together. Got Daniel Gafford, got P.J. Washington. Yes, and they're two key players, too. Mm-hmm. Key contributors. The Celtics, they have had their main core for a majority of the time. They added Drew in. Al Horford's even been there for... Derek White has been in there for a while. How long has Al Horford been there? Al Horford's been in there years? since LeBron he was, was in Cleveland. LeBron in 2018, yeah. <laughs> since LeBron was in Cleveland. Yeah. Um. So Tatum's had a better team overall in fucking seven years in a row. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long he's been in the league. But, I'm saying mm-hmm, me either. <laughs> I don't know. But he's had a better team and he's never been able to get it done. Okay. If you're a top five player that people say you are and you have a great team around you, great cast, that LeBron would take to the finals and win. Facts. Get LeBron and his team. They're going to the finals and winning. Every year. Three-peat. But Tatum, he's he needs to prove himself. I like that. Jalen Brown won conference finals MVP. Why I mean, not that you, wasn't Tatum? a thing when LeBron played. He'd have fucking, what, 11, 17 12? 17 of them. Why not you, Tatum? If I had to pick one person, I'm going to go Mr. Kyrie Irving. I think this impacts his legacy the most because... If you look at the way Kyrie requested a trade out of Cleveland, you remember LeBron and Kyrie walking down the tunnel after losing in the finals? Remember LeBron patting Kyrie on the head saying, we'll be back. And then all of a sudden Kyrie is like, ha, we won't. (laughs) Just kidding. You will. (laughs) Trade me. (laughs) So then he's at uh, the Celtics. He's talking to the fans with a microphone, screaming. I can't wait to come back. I love you, Boston. Kyrie, are you going to leave us like you left the Cavs? Never. Trade me. Then he goes to Brooklyn. Dumpster fire. With all fucking Hall of Famers. They didn't go well. Hurt. Him and Katie didn't really play together. I feel like the Harden Nets, didn't play together. I feel like the Nets are consistently like a GameStop thing. <laughs> just pumping and dump. Pierce, <laughs> no, Pierce and Garnett. Like building all the hype and then nothing. Nothing. Yeah. But I think is this builds a lot for Kyrie's legacy because I think Kyrie got somewhat of a, um a unfair reputation because of the way he left teams and how his attitude was towards leaving those teams. Because when he left LeBron and he had that interview on first take, I personally disliked Kyrie after he left Cleveland. It wasn't because I'm a Cleveland fan and he left Cleveland. It was how he went on first take and he was talking about how like, you know, they asked if he called LeBron and consulted him and said, why would I need to do that? I'm my own man, I'm my own player. And like, I agree with all of that, but this is a dude you just won a finals with recently. And he admitted later on that he wanted to have his own team. That was why he wanted to be, he the guy. be the guy. He got tired of LeBron being the guy. But then through having his own teams a couple of times, he found out being the guy and what it's all cracked up to be. He's never been the guy on any of his teams besides when he was in Cleveland being exactly. a dumpster fire there. Exactly. So Kyrie <laughs> found out being the guy isn't really what it's all cracked up to be. And he even apologized to one LeBron James and said, I handled that situation all wrong. So I think this year Kyrie really showed you that I'm okay with being the number two. I'm okay with not scoring a lot of points, getting a lot of shots. I'm here for my team. Because mm-hmm. when Luca needs him, he'll He's throw points up. Yep. But if Luca's going off, hey, do your thing, big dog. I'll stand here in the corner and wait till I get the ball. So I think this makes him look significantly better as a player. And I think him winning a finals, even if he's not finals MVP, let's just say he wins the finals this year. But he could be finals MVP. Yeah. This does wonders for him because it shows that like he has grown tremendously as a player and he is now a more team first guy rather than self. So I think Kyrie is the answer for me. Yeah, I don't disagree with really any of those. Um, Fuck you, Jordan. I'm still going to talk say. with my hands, bro. I'm, Blata- <laughs> I'm Blatalian, bro. Blatalian. Yeah, I'm a Blatalian. Um, Irish. But yeah. I'm going to spit on the mic. <laughs> I think... Um, the team leaders in the postseason, it's crazy to look at, at least for the the Mavericks. Everything besides blocks, Luca is leading his team in. Points, rebounds, assists, steals. You remember uh who did that before? In the NBA finals? One LeBron James. The GOAT. Um, so since we just brought up finals, LeBron James leading your team. Derek, you added a topic. I did. You want to talk about that real quick? I, I'll pull it up real quick. You want to talk about I that wasn't real prepped quick? exactly for it. I know, but it, it was, was a great, it was a quick turnaround. It was for a me. great segue, though. You brought up LeBron. Great segue. We had no reason to talk about him. Now we do. Um, 
So in a postseason, there's this graphic that ES, uh, NBA ESPN on Instagram posted that a player in the postseason had to get 450 points, 150 rebounds, and 150 assists in a single postseason. Four players have done it in NBA history. Most recently, Luka accomplished that. Jokic in 2023. Larry Bird in at 1987. And LeBron James, six times. Lego. Six times. Now, when I saw this graphic, I'm like, huh. One there's thing's, someone missing. There's someone missing. Who? MJ. Who, Batman? Why is an MJ on this list if he was carrying his team in all those categories? He was that guy with the ball doing everything. Because he's a fucking ball hog. Oh, shit. I'll say it. He's a ball hog. He's a gunner. He's a pat, a stat patter, not pat statter. Well, obviously, he's not a pat, uh, stat <laughs> probably patter. probably a pat statter, too. <laughs> Um, another thing that kind of shocked me, there's three white guys on this list. <laughs> <laughs> so well, the most shocked that I've been in a long time is re- when somebody was talking about like their top three NBA players and there was two white guys to start. And I was like, hmm. This is a change of pace. <laughs> two white guys that have the best Derek all time? Derek probably loves this sport now. <laughs> Wait, what? So, two white guys leading it. I mean, I think I know I mean, why Jordan isn't there. White guys don't really. They're usually not over the top of the game. So whenever we're out there balling, you got to support them. We're the minorities. Are you Serbian? We're minorities. I am. I'm related okay. to Bogdan. Cool. You are Bogdan. I'm his cousin. I'm his cousin. So I think I know why Jordan's not there, though. Um, at the end of the day, Jordan was a scorer. I think the narrative of him being a great defender is a false narrative. I agree, too. I think... He was nearly, not nearly as good. But who ate on his plate? Hmm. Isaiah Thomas, Larry Bird, (laughs) Magic Johnson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Shaquille O'Neal. The list goes on. I could keep going. So now here's the the asterisk with it. Um, Of course, we don't know how many games LeBron has played those six times Mm -hmm. in each of those postseasons. Um, Same thing with MJ. We really don't know, but there's plenty of times. he's he played Three game, like best of fives? Yeah, so, I mean, 97, for example, 3-0 against the Nets, 4-1 against the Hornets, 4-3 against the Pacers, and 4-2 against the Jazz. Um, That's a lot of games right there. He didn't sweep everyone. So you're saying he should have this? That's up for you to decide. Scottie Pippen deserves more credit. That's all I hear. They be hating Scottie. Coming this summer, Dante versus Matt in the The chat. The debate. Coming this summer. The debate. So let's finish up some basketball talk real quick before we move on to another uh, another topic. Um, so there's been rumors that Bronny James is working out for the Phoenix Suns. Do you guys think it would be worth it for the Phoenix Suns to draft mm-hmm. Bronny James to try to lure in LeBron James? Brother, they are broke. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Unless LeBron taking a vet, man, they ain't getting his ass. They are like probably like 150 million per year in just three players, though. They got that what that Bradley Beal was on that top ten. That 50 you mil, were doing. right? 50 mil. Kevin yeah. Durant was the 50 mil, and then Devin Booker's probably right behind him in the high 40s. Yeah. No. Okay, that's a good point, Jordan. I didn't think about the money aspect of it. Unless LeBron's taking a vet, man, they are just get drafting Bronny to say, hey, we have LeBron's son. Well, for the people who don't know, LeBron is the cheapest individual probably in the NBA. He ain't taking no vet, man, billionaire or not. Through um, 2027, 2028, the son's payroll, guaranteed money, $739 million. God damn. Guaranteed to players. To get and swept? That, 739 mil. I don't know compared to other put, to uh, get teams, swept? but that is 739 crazy. mil, and the craziest part is 700 of it is on probably three players. <laughs> to get swept? Um, I mean, the most is the top three of Devin Booker, KD, and Bradley Beal. Like yeah, that makes up 700 million. It's like 260 to Devin Booker, 150 to Durant, 150 to Beal, and then the next. Bro, that's I just got is like crazy. Grayson Allen was 60 mil. That was close to 700 million, I think. That was like six something, wasn't it? I wasn't doing mental math. That's about 300 between KD and Beal. 20 minutes ago, I thought $25 it's was 5%. 550 of million for the uh, rounded. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Between three players. Just to get swept. But to go to your point, yes, I'm the Suns and I'm taking Bronny. You know why? Why? LeBron, this motherfucker's made a lot of money in his career. He ain't taking a pay cut. 
he is one selfish motherfucker if he ain't taking a pay cut. He ain't taking a pay cut. I I agree with the fact of, hey, you get yours, you deserve it, right? This dude has an infinite money glitch, GTA style. And Nike. It's called Nike. Um, But with that, you get Bronny, you have a chance to get LeBron as well. KD, LeBron, Book, Beal, I think that's too much star power. I don't, I don't think that team works. I, I don't think like it, it works at all. No, no, it sounds, sounds terrible. It's, yeah. It, it doesn't go sound good at all. Um, the banana boat. But if you think that LeBron can carry you, or not carry you, but take you to the promised land, you take him at 22 because whoever you're going to take at 22 is not going to change your next couple seasons. So Because you're not going to have a team around him anyways in the future. <laughs> I, I agree with that 100%. It's win now for them. They already spent Yeah, they money. got the next year and maybe next year after that. So looking at them having the 22nd pick, and he is working out with that team, the Lakers have the 17th pick, and the Lakers have already said they are willing to draft Bronny James to keep LeBron. What? I'm talking to him about the cameras. That's all. You keep going. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> like you guys do that stuff, and I get to track. Yeah. Like, yeah sorry. Are you yeah. talking about me? Yeah. I get complex. So they have the 17th pick and then i think they have the 52nd or the 54th pick in and out in and out burger, burger? <laughs> going in and out thanks no that camera that Mine? you're talking about changing to yeah is not hooked up there's only three cameras right now when i came in there was only three cameras okay no i agree but you you said the the cameras were you know having issues. I didn't know exactly what issues they were having. That's why I was. No, you to said should I try and change? And I said it's not plugged in. He's like thinking like you were talking about changing the like which camera like put that one on me instead of that one. Okay, I meant like, like fix it. I didn't mean exactly like change it, but like try to fix it is what I meant. There's nothing wrong with the camera. You're too high for your own good right now. Who? Um. You I'm were gonna, hitting the table a bunch and it was shaking the camera. Oh, that's why you said it had Parkinson's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I was thinking, you remember before? I'm going to cut this part <laughs> out. Cutting in and nah, out. <laughs> keep that in, big dog. I know. Because uh, his was cutting in and out. Like it was going black Yo, and stuff. I can thought we that's what you were talking about. get it together, bro? All right, keep going with your point. God damn, this episode is wild. White. So the Lakers have the 17th pick. The Phoenix Suns have the 22nd pick. Do you think the Lakers are worried? Did I say worried? Worried about drafting Bronny 17th so another team doesn't get him? Or do you think they're they want to wait it out to the 50s? Because drafting Bronny 17th is high. High as hell. That is high. But this draft class is not that deep. It's not very good. I mean, usually never draft classes are deep, but so I listen, drafting Bronny, I'm all down for drafting Bronny. I don't think he's going to be a terrible player. At the end of the day, this draft is very bad. I think he can be drafted in his draft class and probably blend in with the rest of these guys. He can he can improve as an NBA player to be good enough to be a 17th pick Yeah, in the NBA. Listen, but as of right now, no. Draymond Green was a second-round pick. Yes. And that's a defensive player of the year and a four-time champion? Corver was a late-ass pick. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at— He's nowhere near Draymond. There's but. a guy that is supposed to be drafted in the top five this season, and his pro comp was Harrison Barnes. That shows you how bad this draft is. Only if that motherfucker could have hit threes. So, if you're the Lakers, are you taking Bronny 17th or are you trying to wait until, I think it's 52, 54, somewhere around there. The 50s. I'm in the war room. What do they? I don't know what they call it when they're drafting. I don't know if they call it the war room. 15th pick is on the table right now. Bronny's yet to be selected. I don't know who has the 16th pick. I'm Jeannie Buss taking the call. Kind of cute. Hey, Bron. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby boy. Um, hey, baby boy. So if we don't draft Bronny. You taking him? You you leaving? Oh, you're leaving? So we should take him. Okay. We're taking Bronny at 17. Or in the same motion on the phone. Hey, you leaving if we don't take Bronny? Bron's going to hit you with the shit. I don't know. Shit, I don't know. He leaving. And I'm like, all right, we're if taking I'm, We're taking Bronny just because you don't know. <laughs> if I'm Cleveland and they pass up, the Phoenix Suns pass up on them. What's the Lakers pick? pass on them. It got to be in the 20s, late 20s. They were in the playoffs, so I would probably say 24, 25. If I'm Cleveland. If they have it. 
Oh yeah, they traded. Oh, they, they traded it. for Donovan Mitchell. There's no way they have a first round. Um, they don't have a first rounder. I'd be shocked if they do. Yeah, if they trade into it. With what? They, they could Imani Bates. Don't nobody want Imani Bates. Uh, Imani Bates. Bates. I'm bro. I can't. They talk. they have this year the twentieth pick. Does it say via somebody else or like own? It might say it's their own. Okay. It listen. The Lakers pass on Bronny seventeen. You got two picks before Phoenix. If I'm Cleveland, come home, Bron. Yeah. Cleveland kids. Cleveland, this is for you. They gave... Um, Take Bronny. They gave Utah the 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29 first round picks. Damn! All for this cat to leave? Yeah. Exactly. He's staying, bro. Yeah, they better go ahead and get Bron. Hey, if, they, <laughs> hey, if they get Bronny with 20 and LeBron comes back to Cleveland again... I'm going to have two James jerseys. <laughs> yeah. That, that would be a good fit for the team. Now, Evan Mobley, you just need to get a little beefed up. There might oh, be the LeBron, I have Evan, Ob- Evan Mobley balling. Tristan Thompson's going to stay again. No, get him out of there. Tristan Thompson ain't old. He's I. Right. He's Garbo. You see Morris, though? He's balling. Uh, all right. Bro, he had like 25 points. Let's get to some NFL talk before we get out of here, fellas. Stuff. Jordan, we need you. What are we talking about? We need to talk about the NFL real quick. One of our listeners... Shout out to you, Hunter. He wants to know about the Steelers wide receiver situation. And And how shit it is. I just got to ask Steelers Nation one question. How much help do y'all need? Damn, bro. Now you need a receiver? Trying to build a super team over there. Cats got two quarterbacks. Got Patrick Queen. Who else y'all get? We got a bunch of... Van Jefferson. Shitty wide receivers, (laughs) yeah. So... What's that? What's his name from uh, the Falcons? Came up white dude. Well, we got Cordell. Oh, Patterson, y'all got Scotty Miller. Scotty Miller. Yeah, y'all got Cordell Patterson, the return lord. He was Scott ninety years there. old, bro. He is thirty nine years old. Yeah. So I don't think y'all are trading for Ayuk for the simple fact of who you giving. Well, not nah, like they'll give him next year first rounder potentially because they're expecting to probably be a playoff give team. Give me more, brother. So the thing is, is like, are y'all really going to give? Miller. Are y'all? <laughs> are y'all really going to give this cat thirty million dollars a year? <laughs> Do you have enough that, money? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with that. I don't know. I don't know if they would pay him. The Steelers are, from my experience as a fan, tend to be a pretty cheap team. Especially towards wide receivers because you draft Especially, them extremely well. Yeah. Um, You've got about 18 mil so to spare. So I'm guessing what Hunter was talking about was uh, oh. the report. Somebody reported that the Steelers are expected to target Brandon Ayuk or Debo Samuel after the June 1st deadline. I don't know what the deadline's for. I'm not an NFL GM. June 1st signifies something. It's salary cap stuff. And yeah, I think cap stuff hits, that I don't that understand. Yeah, but, me either. Um, I I could see them going after one of the two. I'm leaning towards Ayuk because Ayuk might see it as like, a, okay, I'm going to go to Pittsburgh. I'm going to be the clear cut one. I'm going to showcase my skills and then I'll get paid somewhere else next season. We don't necessarily have to pay him. Debo, I think, is already paid. He's like 36 mil. Yeah, he got paid a um, couple seasons ago. So us trading for him, I think, is less likely just because he's already paid. Oh, wait, did he get paid this year? I'm not sure. 2022, he signed. Three, okay, a couple years Three years, 71 mil. I know, ball. So, yeah, he's, I think it was a little under 36 mil a year then. But still, I'd, I don't know if he would come to the Steelers or if we would bring him. Just because you're paying him the same amount as Brandon Ayuk, you got to pay him. Yeah, you have to take over that contract. So I, I did say Steelers. You guys have about 18 mil playroom. Mm-hmm. His contract's 14 mil. Ayuk. See, that was the thing that I saw was we actually we restructured. I forget if it who it was, TJ somebody we restructured, and it cleared up. We had space. like 13 mil. It cleared up five mil in cap space. So yeah, that's the, the 18. And everybody was like, "Oh my god, that means Ayuk," but. You never know. You don't know. It just we cleared up five mil in space, I which hope you is motherfuckers don't get enough. Room. Y'all go do all of this to finish behind the Browns in the AFC. That's crazy. <laughs> With fucking Jameis Winston finishing up the season for us, dude. Listen, I don't. Even he want, might start and finish. The I don't want to even talk. about I want to see him finish. I legit don't even want to. talk He about wants the to Browns start at all. Deshaun wants to see him finish. <laughs> that's, I know that's for wow. sure. <laughs> well, to wrap up NFL talk, because I don't even want to talk about the Steelers anymore either. Who do you guys think? Let's dig deep in our bags. Let's think. Who do we just, think? Put your thinking caps on. Is one or two breakout candidates for the 2024-2025 NFL season? 
You could pick one guy. You could pick two guys. Do you have yours in your head? Or I have it? one guy that I think I really like this guy to have a good season. I wouldn't call it breakout candidate because he already is who we think he is. But I like Saquon Barkley to have a really good year this season. Yes. Because he finally gets to be behind a good offensive line. We've is it seen, going down? No. I sound like a motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> I think I'd li- I like Saquon Barkley to have a good season because he's never been with a good team. I know they made the playoffs in one year, whatever, but a good line and a good offense, we've just never seen him with. So I like Saquon Barkley to be a breakout candidate for this season. I do like him. Um, let's give a rest in peace to Brandon McManus, too. Um, he got cut to from the career. commanders. For some sexual assault allegations? Some essays, yep. Uh, Not essays that you're right. I know. The terrible essays. Not essays like the Hispanics. <laughs> Not those essays. Um, I don't know if you have yours, Derek, but I, I I'm. <laughs> I think Zamir White for the Raiders, the running back. I think Josh Jacobs being in Green Bay now, he was good in the flashes we saw him last year. I think that he could be Country maybe boy. not a top five running back, but solid, solid dude. Okay, I like that. Zamir White was disrespected on some lists. I, I can't remember what it was. I think they ranked the top 32 uh, running backs and he didn't even make it. And I was like, ah. Was it ranking top 32 or ranking the 32, though? That's where it gets shaky. I can't remember. That might have even been the graphic. I just remember them disrespecting him. So you think, a big dog? There's a couple that came to mind. Jordan Love did play good the last half of the season. I think that was his breakout, was like Um, the second half of last season. So I'll exclude that one. The one I'm surprised you didn't say, George Pickens could be that breakout player. Now he has a real quarterback that is able to fucking throw him the ball at least. But so are you considering like another three, four hundred of breakouts? He had 1,300 last year, right? Three touchdowns? How many touchdowns did he have? He only had three touchdowns? I don't know. It was low as fuck. I mean, how many years did Julio have no touchdowns? Matt Ryan can't throw the ball. <laughs> Neither can Mitch Trubisky, so. <laughs> but I mean, you can have. <laughs> Good point. You could have him up there. Um, Jerry Judy? <laughs> no, not Jerry Judy. Homer. I'm joking. I was trying not to be a homer, so I went away from DP. I don't think Pickens is a bad one. Um, I mean, you have him ranked. We have him ranked twentieth as a group in our top twenty-five. But he made the top twenty-five after this year. He could be top fifteen. That's a pretty big improvement. Yeah. Let's say he gets I mean, fourteen hundred get yards, ten touchdowns. That's top ten. It's a great season. That's I top think, ten. I think that was Stefan Diggs' identical stats last year: fourteen and nine. I want to say and that's top ten. Yeah. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Any other honorable mentions? Anybody else that's uh, popping out? Yeah, popping out at you. Anybody um, else? Not that I can really think. Breakout. Oh. Don't draft this guy. Kyle Pitts is always going to have a breakout year, but that never happens. I got he one. might though, bro. Because like, <laughs> don't I'm being in. serious. No, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Kirk. He loves asked Kirk his for tight more. Ends. He told Kirk he would give him his yeah, number yeah, for more yeah. yards, and Kirk picked a different number. <laughs> I think they were fucking around with that. But I, Kirk loves his tight ends. I got one so, more guy. I love mine too. <laughs> I got one more guy that I would like to add to that. He's been in the league a couple of years. He actually had a really good rookie campaign. And he's kind of trickled down since he's been on one team and then another team after that. Um, anybody who gets with this guy, except for Kadarius Tony, has a really good year. But I like Hollywood Brown paired up with Patrick Mahomes to have a good year. I think Hollywood Brown, he's a good receiver. Speedy guy. Oh, yeah. We've said this a lot, though, with some players that went over to Kansas City. Sammy I mean, Watkins. Sammy Watkins won the Super Bowl. He, he wasn't a breakout yeah, player. But he didn't like. He wasn't a crazy. breakout player. He was also 32. Yeah, he was old, though. When, man, he's, probably, he's probably 30 right now. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Look at look at And he was the record. fucking I do what? have a quarterback I for breakout. Yeah, I he was think, like a top 10 pick, I want to say. Can he pick it? Barring a trade it, of one of their receivers. He's 30. <laughs> Sammy Watkins. Yeah, and that was, what, three years ago? He's 27? <laughs> Hollywood Brown's probably 24, though. Anyways. So I think barring them trading one of their receivers, 26. I know that they've... Talked about it. Um, Sam Howell. Gunslinger. He went to Seattle. If he gets the starting job. You think he's going to play? So you think like injury happens. Like you're banking on I'm saying on like if he like. Gets the opportunity. Because Gino, who knows if he's going to keep that shit up. He might be in training camp right now not looking good. And Sam Howell looking great. You know what I mean? If he can get in games this year, 
I think he could look really, really good. I mean, we saw he threw, he had crazy stats through like six weeks with the commanders. I really wanted uh, the Browns to trade for us. Uh, so I he's look- throwing to, I know Tyler Lockett's old, but Tyler Lockett is a very good receiver. He's stat. a hold a button while he's catching the ball. He's just yes. going to catch it and fall. Yes. And then DK Metcalf, who's one of the biggest menaces at wide receiver Don't in the NFL. Him. Don't forget my Jigba. Jackson Smith and Jigba. My Jigba. <laughs> That's crazy. You like what I did there, though? Yeah. You weren't even thinking about that. You're like, wait, crazy. what did he say? I didn't either until like, it connected. Yeah, my But Jigba. I mean, them and then uh, they have, what's the running back from Michigan State? Kenneth Walker. Kenneth Walker. Um, and Zach Charbonnet from UCLA. Zach and, and, and Michigan. They said and Michigan. he was going to be he so great last year. Um, Everyone was saying in fantasy, he's going to take Kenneth Walker's spot. Yeah, he, he held, didn't do shit. He held a roster spot <laughs> he for, didn't me do for way shit. too long. <laughs> But I, I think that offense is dangerous enough to where if he gets a chance and is allowed to be a gunslinger like he is, yep. he could ball out. Ooh, B. John Robinson, breakout candidate. They finally go get my dude some touches. Arthur Smith is I gone. mean, even on like limited touches, he had a good year. You know who's my breakout candidate? Who? Will Levis. He just got exposed. He's ready to come out fucking slanging that oh, thing. He got he came out He's going right. to slang he that thing. He came out all right. <laughs> I saw, I did Google a couple of them. Devon a couple a- of no Will Levis, videos. Devon A chain, Devon A chain because he was hurt. He showed crazy flashes. Yeah, um, Jamison Williams was on there. They said I he saw, would be more involved in the offense. I saw a lot of Jake Ferguson. Jake Fergie because they ain't got no receivers. Yeah, I guess, but like no, they don't. They released Michael Gallup. I think they have Chris Olave, Drake London's on there, Garrett Wilson, and George Pickens. I saw too. Okay. Well, listen, for stay, receivers. stay tuned, guys. We got less than 100 days until NFL football. Is it less than 100 now? It was 100 like four or five days ago, I think. Let's go. So uh, I think we're good to wrap up, guys. Hey, real quick. Um, people. Did we I cover say everyone's something. comments? There was a, uh, we didn't, but uh, yeah, Damn, we did. No, we did. No, we did. We did. Ew. No, I thought you were asking me something else. Um, real quick, I want to take two seconds to say um, for the people uh, on social media, um, you know, we worked very hard on this platform. We worked very hard to get to where we are. We've had two years of uh, pretty good consistency here that we're about to approach. Um, if you happen to see our content and you like it enough to repost it or post it yourself, please, 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 please tag us. Don't just post our video with your own meme in front of it. We love that you love us. We yeah. love that you want to put our stuff on your platform. Yes. Love it. But, but, but give us our credit. Yes. We don't mind you posting us. We appreciate it. Hey, if you guys want to post this on your story, look at these idiots. These guys don't know ball. Don't Fried ass ball. take. Yeah. I mean, the story's already given a shout out. Just yeah. don't screw and record our shit. And then post it. And post it and pretend it's from you. Yeah. And then tag somebody <laughs> else completely. Yeah. Like, well, at- shout out to him. He fixed it. Yeah. He did. The fix guy it. that we he tagged, I reached out. No response. Yeah. Like, go tag Frosty. So it's not his like fault. That. It's That's- not his fault because he saw it from there. Properly gave him the shout out. There's just nothing crazier you know I mean? than seeing your face on a video yeah. and seeing via Frosty Handles. I ain't Frosty Handles, man. My name is Dante. What the hell? Like, that's crazy. From Kentucky. Because <laughs> we did the best Call of Duty last week and we did like what game you would play. Um, no, not the worst. I mean, you could go through. There's so many games that just are undercreated. Oh but my God. I burped. We did all that last week. My question is, if you had to pick what your favorite sports game and 2K, Madden, PGA, whatever the fuck you want to play, what would your favorite game that's came out in the world of sports be? Oh, I have mine. Go ahead. I was probably eight years old, nine years old, played it on PS2, Mm -hmm. NFL Street. Oh, NFL that Street shit is a good one. That shit was fun as hell. See, I don't want to sit here and be a guy and say NBA Street. Because, because that, that you just put that back in my mind. And I mean, man. as a kid, NFL Street is way more fun to play than Madden. Yeah. Because Madden's a little more serious, right? NFL Street, they're doing they're running on the walls on the side. Yeah. They're doing crazy tackles, flying in the air. You get they game, need to bring them back. Game Breaker, you're going crazy. Imagine Tyree Kill in one of them games. He'd be Or broken. DK Metcalf. So I got to just be that guy after you said in NFL Street and I got to say Blitz. NFL Blitz? NFL Blitz, bro. I never played it, actually. NFL Blitz was crazy. Blitz, the league. Yeah, there was a lot of, like, you were doing, like, steroids and hookers and shit. Yeah, bro. Like, you could literally, like, just do steroids, like, literally mid-game. Like, it was crazy. So. I'm actually not sure about Is that. this the game that we're talking about? Remember the, it's, it's like a. 
when you got hurt, it, like, game, zoomed in. It zoomed in and it's X range, your bones breaking. Yeah. And shit. Yeah, they, they run yeah, out on the field yeah. and like you're it out would, for two plays after they give you the shot. Yeah, or, they like, would just snap, snap you yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. what that is. Yeah, yeah, NFL blitz, baby. Let's go. Why did I think that was like a a knockoff because I didn't think the NFL would let that become a game. <laughs> yeah, because it had you know Lawrence, what I mean? it had Lawrence Taylor on the front of it. Blitz the league. That's yeah, crazy. That's it right there, big dog. What Does about it say you? NFL on it? Yeah. I believe. No. 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 Okay. I was going to say, I didn't think NFL would sponsor that. <laughs> nope. Just says Blitz the league. Yeah, I wouldn't. I was going to say, I didn't think the NFL would sponsor that. What you got over there, Jordy? I got, it's another football game from back when me and Derek were like, Eight, nine years old. So like, I well, I guess seven, seven or eight because I yeah, guess Dante it comes out the 32. year before. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Madden 08. I couldn't tell you a player in that game besides my one of my favorite players of all. Well, Troy Paul yeah, Paul? one of my favorite players of all time, Brian Urlacher. Oh, Brian Urlacher. I used to just, dude, because <laughs> it's back when I lived in Chicago. I was playing on a PS2 and I would just play as the Bears. I think Rex Grossman was the quarterback. Damn. Like, Look at this dude. Oh, I see him. But the camera on him randomly. No, don't. Do that. <laughs> um that was my favorite like game. Yeah. Now wrong with that? the worst part about it, and I'm sure if you've gone back either of you to play the games that you're talking about, is when you go back. I've played Madden 08 since I've been like an adult and played other Maddens. Does it still hit hard? No, that game sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, that game sucks. I thought he was gonna when you go yeah. back and play like games from when you were a kid, you like remember the game in such a better way. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Well, because it was that time. You weren't exposed to new graphics and yeah. better game right. features like, and gameplay. One of, one of my favorite games of all time is uh need for speed most wanted oh it's the one garbage with the now. silver and blue yeah. bmw on it yeah yeah i went back and played it that shit sucks <laughs> i got it for the 360 it was like i think it was at uh the exchange for like two bucks i was like dude i need that and it's garbage it sucked i gave it to my friend i was like bro i can't play it damn go ahead Derek. sucked you've been jones in a response you guys ever play uh 2k7 football is that the one the, with to on two it? T.O. I did. Yeah. Was that the last? It, it was, was the NFL last 2K. 2K. Was the last yes, that was great. But you could play you, inside of the helmet and stuff. You could play inside of the helmet and you had your own fucking crib. Yeah, yeah, With yeah, your yeah. trophy case. Yeah. You could walk around yeah, in it. Yeah, um, They had so many cool game modes on there too. 2K did a pretty good job with that. Where Madden How many y'all about to come up with, bro? Y'all are nerding out right now. Sorry. Jordan's rubbing his hands together like G DJ Khaled and Birdman. No, I was cracking my knuckles. Another one. Go ahead, bro. Did you guys ever play MLB Slugfest? No, nah, I never, I never did. played baseball games in my life. Bro. <laughs> Sorry. This game, I wish, this is another one I wish they'd come out with again. You would literally, like, you would run, so you hit a single and you wanted to go to second. You get to the base and just punch the second baseman in the face and you drop the ball and you'd be safe. That's crazy. Like, you could charge the mound and shit. Your dude, if you hit, were, like, hitting good with him, his feet would be on fire, his bat's on fire. Oh, that's dope. Like, juiced his speed and Bro, his power. you just made me think of my... I can't believe I didn't think of it. What was the computer game with my dude Pablo? The backyard, I know you're backyard baseball. Is that it? Backyard uh, baseball? Yeah, I think. With Pablo something. Sanchez? Yeah. With the big ass head? The home run lord? I think that was it. Backyard baseball? Yeah, backyard baseball. Backyard baseball is my answer. You just made me think of it. That's it. Shout out to Pablo Sanchez, the GOAT. Yeah. Sorry, guys. He's I just good. got really excited. Him and that uh that black guy on We. Whenever you were when you're boxing, wasn't Matt, his name Matt? Yeah, he's the. Those are the two goats. In, boxing. Oh my god, he's in all of them. He yeah, he's like the goat. Yeah, he's the goat in all the sports. It, I do want us to play this game. Okay, so I do not remember the page's name to give them proper credit. I seen this game. He had did it with uh, Big Cat from Barstool and the other guy from Barstool. I do not know the dude's name though. He's a dude that always interviews people and say, "Hey, can you name ten Denver Nuggets outside of you?" Oh my! I can't God. remember his name. I'm so sorry. I'm not stealing your content. We, we will gotta give you find proper credit. We, once we just we, called people out. We gotta yeah, find. Yeah, no, We're but I'm, it. it's I'm, gonna be posted right above your. Head. Yeah, but I'm telling people that this is who I got this video from. We thank you. We'll this was awesome, and I just want to test your knowledge next to their knowledge. Okay. They were cooking, though. So I think you guys are going to get cooked compared to them. But I need you guys to name every two-time NFL MVP. There are 11 of them. 11? There's only 11? 11 two-time MVPs. Fuck. Yep. And I'm going to give you a hint. Okay? I'm going to give you one hint. There is only one non-quarterback on this <sighs> list. All right. Okay. Who's going first? Are we going against each other? Or are we, we cooking against them? 
Go, yeah, together. They did it okay, together. together. You can go back and forth if you so want. I'll go first. Tom Brady got two, right? I think Tom Brady got one. Tom Brady has two. He does have two? Tom Brady has two. I know Aaron Rodgers has two. Aaron Rodgers has two. Okay. Mahomes. Okay. We're cooking. Patrick Mahomes has two. So in does their video, Lamar they said have two? Lamar is a two-time He just won MVP. his second one. Yeah, I thought so. Lamar. 2019 and this past year. You guys got four, eight left. Um, Did Manning ever win two? Is that your answer? I think he won yes. one with the Colts, one with the Broncos. Peyton right? Manning has two. Yeah. I might be wrong well, on the that's frame. No, but you're right. No, he, he had, had one with the Colts and then he had 55 touchdowns with yeah. the Broncos. Yep. When they were going so I crazy. was right, it was one yep. with each? Yep. Okay. Yeah, he didn't win two with the Broncos. He won one each. All right. Um, um, so. Two-time MVP. You got Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, How about How far back does Lamar this Jackson. go? Um, when did the NFL MVP uh, okay, come out? So, okay, no. so. Jim Brown on this. Jim Brown is a two-time MVP. Okay. That was the second so, hardest one. You still got the hardest one out my there. Other, my other question was, and their quarterbacks? go back far. How many of these players that are left have we watched? Um, like, I have turned on the TV in my conscious life we have post yet to miss one. 2010. Just keep guessing. We have one left that one. you've watched. Fuck. But they're not, like, that old, though. Just in greats. Just in greats. Don't, okay. like, go off the okay. wall and okay. start naming, like, Vinny Testaverde. Dan Testa Marino Verde. have two. Dan Marino has one. I was thinking older. Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw does not have two. I remember Googling him. That motherfucker. That's why he's overrated. <laughs> Come on. You guys are losing. Joe Namath. Here. Joe Namath does not have two. Joe Theismann. Has he his, had a short Joe career? Joe Montana. Joe Montana has two. He's a fucking quarterback, you idiot. Wait, there's... Okay, he got the one non-quarterback, right? Yeah. Yes. Jim okay. All quarterbacks Okay. Left. Well, I was making sure. Why'd you say he's one. a quarterback, you fucking idiot? I'm so it's confused. From a movie, Joe Montana was a fucking quarterback, you idiot. Uh, yeah, you seen that one, movies. right? Okay. Anyways, keep going. We're losing steam here. Was that the hardest one? No. No. You got okay. four left. Four left. Oh damn, we have four left. Yes, you guys. They're are all greats. We know all of all them. All greats. You know all of them. One okay. is going to be incredibly hard to get. And I'm trying not. I Brett don't want to miss Brett Favre. Yeah, he has it. You guys got three left, dude. You guys are cooking. Don't think too hard. Think Super Bowl. Think great teams. Just think. You guys got this. Did your boy get two? I think he only got. No, nah, he only got two. Got, I don't think he even ha- Does he have one? All of these dudes, you guys did not watch. You No, you watch one. Breeze got one for sure. One was in a Super Bowl versus you. Ooh. Or was that? No, he was in a Super Bowl versus you. Okay, wait. Not Rodgers. You're talking Cardinals. Yes. You're talking Cardinals. Was it Carson Palmer? No. Nope. Or was it who the fuck? Kurt, Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner. Greatest show on turf. That wasn't the team that you guys played. I don't want people to think yeah. I don't know ball. I, I was I was 10 years old. I, it was hard for me to remember All who right, the guys, quarterback was. Two left. Two left. The one last of them one is the hardest. Be one. So hard. Okay. All right. The the one that isn't hard was we watched them play. No, you did not watch him play. Okay. But you see him on TV often. Quarterback see on TV often. He talks. He's a commentator. Troy? Nope, not Troy. Okay. Nope. Not Tony. <laughs> nope. I'm just thinking of uh, quarter Sims? Nope. Okay. What other quarterbacks are commentators right now? Play for the 49ers. Lefty. Hefty lefty? Not hefty lefty, bitch. He said, he said Young and Montana at the same time, right? Did you? I said both of them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that one. Steve yeah. Young. Yes. I'm okay. sorry. I didn't hear you say that. That's Steve why Young. I was like really confused. I'm like, I might not have said, no, no, no. I said Montana and the other, I said another Joe. Oh, okay. Namath. You said Namath. Namath. Well, that got I thought you to Young. I thought he said uh, Steve Young. Ding, 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 ding. I thought well, you did. Say Steve Young for the sake of it. Steve Young? Steve Young. You guys got <laughs> one left. Come on. Um, this one is hard. This one is hard. Steve out. Largent. I'm gonna see. <laughs> I'm gonna see if Duh. I can give you some hints. Tob- Toby Roth ro- nope. ro- wrote. No. Um, Tobin wrote. By Tobin the way. wrote. Same thing. All right, this guy. What are you born in 1933. Played for Louisville in wait, 1955. Wait, wait. Born in 1943. 33 actually. 33. <laughs> From Pittsburgh, PA. Died of a heart attack. Played for the Baltimore Colts, the Los Angeles Chargers. Johnny Unitas. Johnny Unitas, motherfucker. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> The only reason I know that is in middle school for some reason. I was playing quarterback and they said, You remind me of John Unitas. Them like, motherfuckers don't know who he is. You know why? Because I, I kind of, whenever I threw the ball, I'd have like my arm out kind of oh, decently yeah. far. And you probably look back any of those pictures and the yep. way he threw. He That's threw how like they this. all used to throw. He threw like this. 
pointing with his fucking arm. It's if funny because I literally there was a YouTube thing and it's literally all people going like this. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, good job though. You guys did pretty good. Like outside as soon of as you said you Baltimore hints, co- uh, cold sign cooters. <laughs> Cool sign news. Cool Outside sign. of the couple hints that I gave you, you guys did pretty comparable to how they did. Because like, I wasn't trying, I was trying not to miss. Yeah. I was trying to take a little they bit of time. They missed a lot though. They threw some names out. Because like, I didn't want to be like Breeze, you know, whatever. Yeah, because people burger. always roast yeah. us for doing that and yeah. stuff like that. I, I was trying to, in the really very minimal dive misses. Into the bag. No, nah, no, nah, you guys did good. Like, compare, if I can find the video, I'll send it to you. You guys did pretty damn We're good. We're still going to tag them. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another episode of Barbershop Break Room. See you guys next week.